the Indianapolis 500, the Coca-Cola 600. Only four drivers have done the Indy 500 Coke 600 double. John Andretti, Robbie Gordon, Tony Stewart, and Kurt Busch. This right here is the Kurt Busch 2014 Indy 500 Coke 600 double. I call it a set because I now have these two right here. So right here, this is Kurt Busch's 2014 Sure Tone, Honda Delara from Andretti Autosports, and this right here is Kurt Busch's 2014 Haas uh, Ad, uh, Automation American Salute, Chevy SS, Stone House Racing. Uh, he ran this at the Coke 600, beautiful paint scheme. But first, we're gonna review his 2014 Indy 500 rookie car. All right, now we got the car out of its box. Let's begin with this diecast review. We're going to be reviewing his uh, Sharp Tone Library from the Indy 500. First up, we got the the Verizon Indy Car Series. You got Kurt Busch, and I guess that's his, like, the Las Vegas flag or something. I think normally this is supposed to be, like, an American flag for, like, an American driver, right? Can't tell what that is. I am stupid. And then we got... Um, shophonda.com, Honda, Seoul Republic. Got shirtonelive.com. We got powered by Sensei. Got 26. You got the Firestone Indy 500 tires. You got shirtone on the sides. You got shirtone here again. And what do we have here? We got, damn, I don't even know what that is. And you got like the Las Vegas flags on the uh, headrest. And... You got Shirt Tone 26, Honda, Verizon IndyCar Series, Snapple, Sensei, DHL, Delara, uh, Andretti L Sport logo. I almost said Honda. And I think between Delara and DHL, that's supposed to be a UFD logo. I'm not sure. I can't tell. You got Shirt Tone on the front wings. You got Shirt Tone once again. Uh, same side as the left. And on the rear wing, you got sure tone. And on the pods, you got nothing. Oh, by the way, be careful with the pods. They're very, very fragile. That's what I learned when I got the Mark Andretti car and Kurt Busch's car. So, yeah. So, here we go. That is this car right here. I love... The thing I like about this library is, like, the colors. The black. I mean, the black, the gray. Like, I... It matches, or not matches, but it transits, transi transitions very well, and like with some red lines between them. I think it's a very good library. Like even the shark fin part makes the library look even better. Very good library. Honestly, like I thought this car was gonna be like grayer than the way it looks, like in real life and the diecast, but it's been a while since I've seen this library. But yeah, this is a very cool library, Kurt Busch. Uh, finished six in the eighty five hundred debut back in twenty fourteen, and it would it would be cool if Kurt did it again, or he did like some mini car races. I don't know, who knows? Like we got like there was rumors about there was talks about Kyle Busch in the five hundred, Kyle Larson still going on with the Indy five hundred stuff to see who will be the fifth Indy five hundred Coke six hundred driver to do the double. So yeah. <clears throat> So, this is Kurt Busch's car. He won the 2014 8500 Rookie of the Year as well. Very cool. And I remember, like, back in 2013, there was videos of Kurt testing uh, Ryan Hunter Ray's Indy car at Indy. I think at that time, I didn't think much of it. And then it was announced that he was going to do the, the double. And then here we are. So, very cool. Now on to his Coke 600 car. Alrighty, now we're on to his Coke 600 car. This is Kurt Busch's 2014 Haas, Ameri Haas Automation Americans American Tools NASCAR Salutes. Uh, Chevy SS from Stude Haas Racing. Yeah, I gotta say, this is a very, very beautiful paint scheme right here. Like, you got his normal Haas car, and the next thing you know, the, the patriotic American flag uh, paint scheme. It's just... It it just goes it just goes well right here, so let's get to the car. We got Haas CNC, America's Machine Tool, American Ethanol, Mac Tools, Mobile One. Um, what do we got here? 
we got house factory outlet and then you got state water heaters you got exalta you got cem you got other sponsors i can't tell you got the 41 you got uh kurt bush's former nickname the outlaw oh yeah you got the winter stickers when he won at marginal that's so cool and you got mobile one Haas, rust truck centers uh then that's comp i'm not really sure um you got the 24 contingency sponsors man i missed the contingency sponsors so much like a lot of the contingency sponsors but late but every year since I don't know, somewhere around the Gen 6 era. The con contingency sponsors kept shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. And I guess what now? Well, they're moving they're moving the numbers forward. Oh wow. My biggest gripe is that like throughout the years of the contingency sponsors being shrinking, whenever they kept shrinking, the Cup Series logo was like moving up forward. And that was like the ugliest thing ever. Like if it was like if the Cup Series logo was like under the NASCAR race car logo or something like that. Would run a lot better, but no. And then now we have the numbers moving forward. <sighs> Fucking stupid. I know I'm going off topic, but if you want to, when it comes to number placements, I hate it. But why can't the team's response to the side, like, make it natural? Like, should we, if the teams want to be middle, fine. If it, if they wanted to be forward, fine. If they want to have the rear, fine. But if you force everybody moving it forward, it's stupid. Just whatever nascar sucks anyway so yeah you got kurt bush's uh name on the windshield with two chevy logos with the nascar salutes windshield banner which is honestly badass you got haas america's machine tools you got chevy logo chevrolet ss 41 stewart house racing logo same size as left and then chevy logo haas s oh out of focus Haas SS Haas logo 41 and then you got the armed the armed American force oh, I forgot what was it called I know it was like AAF but it's like armed force something anyway you got 41 HaasCNC.com and HaasCNC America's to uh, machine tool <clears throat> on the deck wheel. And that is the Kurt Busch's 2014 Cup 600 car. He was like in the top 10 throughout the race. And he was dropping back. And the next thing you know, he blew up and finished 40th. Sadly, he did not complete the 1100 mile race between the 8500 Cup 600. He completed 905 miles. That's a shame. It would have been cool Kurt not only finished 10th on both races, but completed all the races in one day. That would have been amazing for Kurt, but you hate to see it. It didn't happen. But what happened was that Kurt Busch did the Indy 500 Go 600 the same day. So, yeah, there's a positive right there. Uh, the main colors of the car is black. Uh, you got the um, red, white, and blue stuff. I can see the red stripes, white stripes. Like, it goes from, like, to the front, all the way back here, like, all the way back here. It's just beautiful. It goes well. Very, very cool. And, um, and, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, like, the matte finish. It's very, very matty, let's just say. It's so matte. You, you know when you have, like, dry skin and you feel how so dry, and you feel how dry something is? Whether it's like dry fingers, dry skin, or whatever, whatever. That's how it feels. It is so. It feels so dry. So yeah, very cool scheme. I like that's mad, but sometimes it's like a bit too mad when I first opened it. So yeah. So yeah, that is Kurt Busch's 2014 Coke 600 car. Alrighty, guys, this concludes the diecast review of the Kurt Busch 2014 double, and. It's very cool that Kurt Busch, out of all people at that time, decided to do it. And very cool that, that Kurt gained some IndyCar experience. Oh, I mean, although it's been seven years. But very cool to see, like, NASCAR drivers doing, like, IndyCar races, especially the Indy 500. The Indy 500 is a big deal. And the Cook 600, well, I mean, the 600 was 
a big deal. I mean, it is still a crown jewel race, but you know, if you know, you know. But yeah, while we are still looking to see who will be the fifth driver to do the double, like Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch, who knows? Kurt Busch again, who knows? We can still look back on 2014 when Kurt did it. Sixth place in the Indy 500 and could finish top 10 if he didn't blow up his engine. So yeah, that is going to do it for today's video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this diecast review. Comment, like, and subscribe. Oh my god, for more? Um, I am expecting one more diecast uh, coming in the mail. It is yet another IndyCar diecast and that's going to be it for right now. When it comes to diecast. Oh yeah, I did get this car yesterday in the mail. So yeah. And um expect one more diecast review coming. And I just want to say if you guys want to see more of that, you know what to do. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more. Thank you guys so much for supporting Ian Nation. This is Ian Press 48 signing off and ruin the car. <laughs>